fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. engineers who built roads and bridges in the western United States before the coming of the railroad faced many dangers. The forces of nature, outlaws, and hostile Indians combined to make the work almost impossible. And if it had not been for the strength and courage of the masked rider of the plains, the winning of the West might never have been accomplished. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver, the Lone Ranger... Rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the canyon trail! Sound is waiting for us! Oh, Silver! Hooray! Knife Wound Canyon was so named because of its formation. A long, deep gash in the earth's surface, the canyon made it necessary for both horsemen and stagecoaches to spend an extra day in crossing the state. One of the greatest engineering projects of the age was a bridge under construction across the gap. The Lone Ranger and Tonto rode through the night along the canyon's rim. Far ahead, they could see the flickering light of a campfire and... When the railroad comes this way, Tonto, the tracks can be run across the bridge. It's one of the greatest things that has been done in this state. Sam Barton's name will go into history as one of the builders of the West. Uh, soon railroad come this way, huh? That's right, Kimosabe. Look, way over there on the other side of the canyon, you can see the workmen's camp. Ah, uh, Tonto see him. I wonder who's camped on this side. Certainly not any of the workmen. They're all working from the other side. That's right. Seems to me there are some men around that campfire. Well, Tonto, see four men there. They're not Indians. No, not Indian. There are Indians around here. We saw signs of them before sunset. Tell us that fire, not Indian. Well, we'll soon see who they are. It doesn't matter, but it's an odd place for men to make camp. One of them has heard our horses. He's standing, listening. Huh? Rain up. Hey there. Is that you, Barton? Barton. Sam Barton. Why would he be on this side? We heard your horse. Come on in. We're waiting for you. Stay here, Tutter. Wait while I go on. Come on, boy. Answer up, Barton. Is that you, Rain? Come on. What's the matter? We don't want to stay here waiting all night. Where you been? Well, that's my business. Hey, where'd you get the white horse? Come on close to the fire. It must be sort of cold riding tonight. I'm all right. Hold on. Are you masked? Yes. What of it? What's the idea of being masked? Maybe it wouldn't be wise to be recognized if I was seen. Well, maybe not. Did you fetch the cash? For what? For what? For us. You promised to have some cash for us tonight. 
We gotta get it so we can get firewater and have the Redskins re aroused up. Suppose I didn't bring the cash. Well, you better had. You promised it, Barton, and we figured on it. The chances are that bridge will be done tomorrow. Once it's done and the men are paid off, we won't have a chance of staging the massacre. Hold on there, Rawhide. Let me have a look at this, Aubrey. What's the matter? Don't sound like Barton speaking. I'm not Sam Barton. Just what I thought. Reach! It was risky for Barton himself to come here. If one of the men knew that he was paying you to get the Indians on the murder trail, he'd be finished. So Barton sent you, huh? How much cash did he promise you? How much did he send? Look here. I don't know you men. How do I know you're the right ones? Right or wrong, we're the ones that's been promised hard cash. And either we get it or we call the whole deal off. Now shell out, stranger, and be fast. I got it. I got it, Rawhide. This here armory, the horse, the mask. That horse is silver. This is a lone ranger. What? Shoot, shoot the critter. Why, you drill him. (laughs) Shoot again. Get him, boys. He's blowing my gun out of my hand. Come on. Oh, shoot. Come on, Tom. This way. Get him up, scouts. They're waiting for Sam Barton, Tom. The builder of the bridge. And the plan to kill the men, to steal the money. What do now? Down, down into the canyon. You know what, Frail? What do? We'll ride to that camp. First of all, I want to know Sam Barton is really crooked. I can't believe he is. Come on, Silver! Later that same night, after a dangerous ride through the canyon, the Lone Ranger moved silently through the bridge builder's camp. When he reached Sam Barton's shack, he opened the door and stepped inside. Barton, wake up. Hmm? What's wrong? Wake up, Barton, and listen to me. It ain't morning yet. What's it? Say, who are you? Someone who calls himself Sam Barton is meeting plotters on the other side of the canyon. Did you know that? Well, who is it? I don't know, but I do know there's a plan to have the Indians attack your men as soon as the bridge is finished. What? You sure of that? Who are you? As long as the bridge is not finished, the Indians can't get here. That bridge is done tomorrow. They'll be ready to massacre all of you. Oh. And what's your suggestion? I think I can bring help. There's an army post where the commandant's a friend of mine. It'll take two days to get the troops. Postpone completing the bridge until two days more. So that's it. Postpone it and spoil our record so the contract will be forfeited. Will you forfeit the contract? I see through the scheme. We were promised a bonus that we got finished ahead of time. You're sent here to slow us so we won't be paid that bonus. Nothing of the sort. You get. But Barton... Get, I say. Clear out. I'll have the whole camp on you. Scheming to do us out of the bonus, huh? Why, you... The next morning before the men started work, Sam Barton called them all together and then... Get close, boys, so you can hear what I say. Today is the big day. We got a few hours' work, and then the bridge is done. The planks will cross the canyon. I want every mother's son of you to know that I'm proud of you. Proud of the courage and loyalty you showed. The whole state's proud of you. We're going to finish ahead of schedule, and then you'll get your pay. Has our pay come, boss? The pay is here. You'll get it as soon as you step from the bridge to the far side of Knife Wound Canyon. Pay in full plus a bonus. Then you'll have two days off before we make the finishing touches. A bonus! I'll meet all you boys. I'll meet you with the cash on the far side of the canyon. Now get going. Hey, Barton, what's that coming? I know that voice. Mass man, I'll kill him. Oh, yeah, what you knocked my gun up for? The man's masked. He's an outlaw. That don't call for shooting him. Hold on there. I want to speak to you. Let me trail him. Ready, Joe. Barton. Last night I spoke to you in your shack. I didn't know then that you wore a mask. I told you it would mean death to every man here to complete that bridge and cross the canyon inside of two days. It's loco. Why should it mean death? I'll tell you why. Indians are gathering on the other side. And they're going to be filled with whiskey and then sent to wipe out you men. That's a lot of lies, boys. All he wants to do is to keep it from finishing the bridge so we don't get a bonus. Fact is, maybe Barton's hired him to do that. How about it, Barton? Yeah. That ain't so, Joe. You know better than that. I don't know, Barton. To save a heap of cash if you don't have to pay that bonus. Why didn't you think of that before? Boys, are we finishing the bridge today? <laughs> You're wrong. You're not going to finish it today. You're not going to finish it until the Army sends troops here to drive away the Indians if they attack. You think you'll stop us? Joe, I'll handle this. Stranger, I don't know what your idea is, but you're not going to stop our work. We've thought through on this job against every handicap that nature and man could conceive. 
We're not going to stop because the Indians are drinking whiskey, if they are. Go on, boys. One minute. Martin. I didn't come here to make threats without being ready to back them up. He's bluffing. Yes, I think he is. If you insist on going ahead with that job, then you'll find that you'll have more work to do. I have blasting powder planted where it'll tear away part of the bridge. Don't make me signal for that powder to be fired. That's bluff. Nothing but bluff. No, it isn't, Barton. It's bluff and I'm calling you. Go on, boys. Cross over and go to work. I'll give the signal when the first man puts a foot on the bridge. I don't know who I should believe. Blow that bridge and you won't live long. Go to work, men. That's an order. You're calling me, Barton. Your call. Very well. There's the signal. There's extra work for us now. Doggone. That rat at all, boss? Now what? That mask man wasn't bluffing. There ain't much damage there, Barton. It can be fixed and we still can finish the job. There's a lot more than three hours' work there. Sure, but we'll work all night if need be. Won't we, man? That mask man said he wanted to ride for troops to help us against the savages. Look, Barton, I'll tell you what. You get the boys working double time and I'll ride over to the other side and scout around. Can you get over there, Joe? Sure thing. I'll take the best horse and find a trail somehow. I'll see if there's redskins there. You get the boys going. If I don't bring back wood or call to you from the other side of the canyon, you'll know there's no sign of redskins. Good. Come on, boys. We've got twice as much to do now. The sooner we get started, the better. All right. <laughs> into the canyon as the men went to work. The blast and the Lone Ranger's warning had sobered them, but they obeyed Barton's orders without hesitation. In the meantime, the Lone Ranger had reached open country. Come on, Silver! The great horse Silver raced across the plains, heading for the distant army post. Mile after mile flashed by until, finally... Halt! Who goes there? I've come to see Captain Grimes. Take this silver bullet to him. Captain Grimes has gone to Fort McHenry. Colonel Martin is now in charge. Who are you with that mask? Captain Grimes would have known me. Let me speak to you, Colonel. Uh, who is this? Colonel Martin. I'm the Colonel. Who are you? Colonel, if Captain Grimes were here, he would know who I am because of the silver bullet I've just handed your guard. Well, I'm not Captain Grimes. The need remains the same. The engineers at Knife Wound Canyon are in need of help. Indians? Yes. How long has the fight been going on? It hasn't started yet. Not started? And why should it start? It's certain to. Crooks have incited the Indians. Uh, remove that mask. I can't do that. Colonel Martin, over 50 men will be massacred if you don't send troops to help them. There are new regulations out of Washington. Captain Grimes has been removed because he seemed to antagonize the Indians. My orders are rigid. Until there is a fight, I cannot send out the cavalry. But, Colonel, they will attack as soon as the bridge is across the canyon. I'm sorry, sir. But you yourself have admitted that the Indians have not yet attacked. Until they do, I can make no move. By that time, it'll be too late. I have my instructions, and as a soldier... I must obey them. The life of every one of those men depends on your aid. I'm sorry. Colonel Martin, I've ridden hard to get here. I thought I could count on your help. You can, unless it's in violation of my instructions from Washington. Instructions must sometimes be changed to meet conditions here in the West. I'm a soldier, sir. I cannot assume that authority. Then, Colonel, I will. Your men will follow you. Let me down, sir. What does this mean? I'm sorry, Colonel. Help! Sergeant of the Guard, Corporal! Help! 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 Curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. As a construction crew neared the completion of their work, Sam Barton's assistant met the outlaws on the far side of the canyon. I come here to check on things, Rawhide. Barton, we don't need no checking on. You paid us last night and we got the liquor for the Redskins. Look, we may as well clear a few things up. In the first place, that masked man you told me about already knows that Barton ain't the man that come here. What? I ain't Barton. I'm Joe Horner. Uh, trying to fool me. Now, huh? relax, Rawhide. I ain't trying to fool you. That's why I'm telling you the truth. I let you think my name was Barton at first, just in case you figured I'm not siding up to my idea. Savvy? Uh, reckon so. That masked man that Kaji called the Lone Ranger has writ for the army troops. Army troops? That's right. He tried to get us to hold up work on the bridge until he could get back here with the cavalry. Then what? Well, between me and Barton, we kept the boys willing to go ahead. Then he fired a blast that destroyed part of the bridge, but not too much. Barton's got the men going double time over there, and they'll have it done before the troops can get here. Well, how soon will the span be completed? We can get the Redskins to attack from this side of the canyon, but they'd never cross over there. And they're working along. I reckon it'll be done by daybreak, maybe. Good. We'll manage to keep the Redskins all liquored up till then without no trouble. I told Barton I'd come over here and look around. If I see any sign of Redskins, I'm to signal them. <laughs> well, I reckon he won't be getting no signal. You better head back and tell the real Barton everything's all right. You got plenty of liquor for them Redskins? Plenty. You'll be able to keep them going till you see the bridge is done? They'll be set to attack. Rawhide sure steamed up a plenty, Bar... I mean, Joe, or whatever your name is. <laughs> I told him that when the bridge was done, the trains would be next to come. And the steam and engines would chase all the game away from this part of the country. <laughs> that fetched him. Them Redskins are just spoiling to get at the men that built that bridge. The engines don't know about the money? Nah. The engines will do their part just to keep the choo-choo trains from coming west. <laughs> Good enough. Well, I reckon everything's set. I'll go back and help along with the work. The more men working, the sooner the bridge is done. Joe returned to the camp and reported to Sam Barton. You didn't see Redskins, eh, Joe? No, that masked man was just scheming against us like we figured, Barton. I'd sooner take time on this job than have any of our men killed. You needn't worry about that, Barton. There's been savages on the warpath. I'd have seen signs of them. Good enough. Lay to it, boys. Right here, Steve. I'll give you a hand with that cross. <laughs> That's it, Barton. Work them hard. The sooner you cross, the sooner me and my friends will get some cash. In a safe hiding place where he could see without being seen, Tonto watched the workman, his horse scout beside him. Them fella work plenty fast, scout. <laughs> Maybe soon them get bridge done, and heap plenty trouble come. Tonto better get signal ready. Me <clears throat> get smoke signal ready. That tell mass friend, hurry, plenty fast. Uh, them engine, war dance, bad engine. <laughs> Not like it, eh, Scout? Them Minchin get ready to kill men on bridge when them cross over. Not plenty bad. Rawhide and his men had told the Indians that as soon as a bridge was completed, the trains would not only drive all the game away, but that white men would steal their horses and children. They promised the Redskins untold riches if the construction crew was massacred. You sure got them braves all head up, Rawhide. They're raring to go. <laughs> Look at the darn fools hop around there. Why do you think they swallowed a passel of Mexican jumping bees? <laughs> They've been doing like that ever since yesterday. I'm scared that the men on the bridge will hear them and get wise. Let them get themselves worked up. They can't hear them on the bridge with all the noise they're making building it. Say, uh, Rawhide... Me and the boy's been sort of hankering for the feel of a little cash. When are you going to divvy up our share of what Joe paid you to rig up this scheme? You'll get what's yours when Joe comes through with the rest of the dough. I, uh, I've been sort of figuring something out in my head, Rawhide. But I ain't said nothing about it. Mighty strange coming from you, Kaji. Most times your tongue does all you're thinking. What's itching you between them dirty ears? Well, I, I ain't good at figuring, but... I reckon Joe will have a lot of hard cash after the men get killed and Martin don't have to pay him off. That's Joe's idea, ain't it? You're talking sense so far. Go on. Well, these Indians will only have dealings with us. So we're the only ones they'll take orders from. They don't know Joe hired us to do this for them. Ain't that right? Yeah. Now, if the Indians were to kill Joe and Barton, too, you and me and the other two men could split all the dough. Kaji, you and me have been riding the same horse. 
I worked that same little idea into my plan. Good. The story that Joe had me fix up to cover the killing of the men can cover up his killing, too. Doggone you, Rawhide. You never miss a trick, do you? <laughs> Not when there's money in it. Nobody's going to stop us, neither. The minions will see to that. <laughs> Just listen to him hoop her up. Meanwhile, Silver, with his double burden of the Lone Ranger and Colonel Martin, was racing toward the canyon. I'll see you shot by the firing squad for this. It was the only way I could get your men to follow me. Follow you. Follow you. The entire detachment is chasing you. If you'd been riding an ordinary horse, it'd have cut you long before this. The soldiers will be needed when the Indians attack. You'll pay for this abduction. Lives are at stake. You have no proof. The workmen need your protection. My men will overtake you. I want them to. After we climb the wall of the canyon. Climb up the side of the canyon. It's shorter than going around. Man, you can never make it. No horse alive can carry two men up that precipice. Silver will, won't you, boy? Tato signal. There's not a moment to lose. Signal? A smoke signal. Come on, Silver. Hurry, boy. Stretch those great legs. You've got to carry us up. Climb, Silver. Climb. We've got to save those men. <laughs> Even as the puffs of smoke drifted lazily toward the sky and the Lone Ranger called on Silver for his greatest speed, the last few ties and beams were being set in place. We'll get through four night, I reckon. You gotta get through four cents, that boys. You gotta do it. Wait. Everybody keep quiet a minute. What's wrong, Mr. Barton? I, I thought I heard something. No, there ain't nothing. Listen, Joe. Do you hear Indians? There ain't no Indians to hear. That's just canyon noise. Come on, man. Let's get to work. <laughs> Get those timbers in place now. Give it everything you got. You'll soon be through. <laughs> yeah, all through. Joe urged the men on. But Barton, concerned for the safety of his crew, watched closely for any sign of Indians. Most done now, boys. Keep going. We'll finish her now. Then for the pay and the bonus. <laughs> then a night in town. Hustle it up, boys. Keep it moving. Wait a minute. Wait nothing. Let him go, Barton. I heard Indians again. Yeah, just your imagination. I hear them, I tell you. Don't stop, men. Keep it working. Mr. Barton, maybe you don't want to have to pay the boys their bonus, huh? It isn't that. It's what that masked man said. He spoke the truth. I hear Indians. Stop work! Stop work, Kong Bridge! There's the redskin, the red crown of our bridge! He's all you've been hearing, Barton. It's all part of their game. Shoot the critter! Oh, uh, you not shoot. Engines wait on this side canyon. When you come, men kill. Men, stop working! We can't risk our... We're taking matters out of your hands, Barton. Keep on working, boys. Nothing can stop us now. Take care of that engine. I'll take care of them as soon as we're finished. Hard engine, wait this side. Kill men. Stop work till help comes. We ain't waiting for nothing. Keep on there, boys. That's the ticket. Keep it going. Men, stop. I'm in charge. I order you to stop working. We're aiming to get that bonus, boss. We ain't stopping. You earned it, boys. Don't let him do you out of it. Engine, wait, make attack. Red skin another word out of you and I'll start shooting. Men, men, this Indian is right. Stop working and see if you don't hear red skin. We ain't stopping until we got that bonus in our pockets. Men, I'll pay you the bonus if you stop. Keep going, boys. Keep going. The bridge is hit the other side of the canyon. Now get out of the mother's in place. We made it. Men, can't you hear those Indians? Stop work. Buy them spikes in. $50 for the first man to get over. <laughs> The war cries of the Indians grew louder as the last beams were spiked in place. The men were so absorbed in their work that they didn't hear them. Finally, the last ties anchored the bridge and the whole crew surged forward to the other side of the canyon. Rawhide, Kaji, and the other two outlaws watched them. Here they come. And there's our engines. Get them, Redskins. Get them right now. There it is, Indians! They're charging us! Get on there! Get forward, you men! Boys, get back! Back across the ridge before it's too late. No, you don't! Don't know we try to get back! Joe, what does this mean? Have you double crossed? You're all gone right, I have. Rawhide, Kaji, give me a hand! They're trying to get back to the bridge. Come on, man, we'll stop it. Uh, no. What's this mean? Joe's double-crossed us. He knew them engines was waiting for us. Them men with the engines have cut us off. We're surrounded. I see your scheme, Joe. You betrayed us to the Indians so that after we were all wiped out, you'd have the whole payroll for yourself. Get up and get forward. Fight them as long as you can, men. Fight them as long as you can. Masked man, him come now. <laughs> A small band of workmen were trapped between the outlaws and the Indians. Then, suddenly, a great white horse thundered toward them. Close behind rode the soldiers of the fort, 
their rifles pouring a withering fire into the frenzied ranks of the savages. That masked man again. The soldiers will come with him. Now we'll lick him. Up and at him, boy. Where's Joe? He's the one I'm aiming to get. He's over there with the other critters. We can get back to the bridge now. We're not going back. We're staying here and fighting. <laughs> The soldiers made quick work of the Indians. The Lone Ranger stopped only long enough to lower Colonel Martin from his horse. Then, charging up to Joe, he covered the surprised outlaw with his guns. You're all covered. Don't anyone move. Joe, I know your voice. You should. I talked to you that night when you thought I was your partner coming with the cash. If I could get another chance to shoot you, I wouldn't miss. You're the one that shot away my gun. I'll get you first yet. Where you're going, you'll get nobody. Burton, you already know that your assistant was the ringleader of this attempt. You can't prove that. There's 50 men to prove it. First of all, you reported there were no Indians. Then you fought against us when you thought the odds were on your side. We've got you all right. All right, you got me. But tell me one thing. How'd that army get here so quick? I'll answer that. My men were following the Lone Ranger. He showed them the shortcuts. Heaven forbid that I should ever have to ride that train again. Come, Tonto. Oh. I never in my life saw riding like that mass man's. And that horse carrying a double load. Thank you, Colonel. You arrived just in time. A little later and we'd all been killed. You needn't thank me, Barton. Men, rope those prisoners. We'll turn them over to the law on our way back to the fort. Right. Hold on. Wait. The masked man, Colonel Martin, he's escaping. Who is? I'll drop him. He won't get away with what he's done to you, uh, sir. Put down your rifle. But, sir, Give I... it to me. I'll take a shot at him. Uh, yes, sir. Can't let him escape without uh, <clears throat> trying to get him. Yeah, there, I tried, didn't I? Oh, Colonel Martin, you missed him by a mile. <laughs> First shot I missed in 20 years. Missed the Lone Ranger. Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>